Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, we have another opportunity to learn the Book of Allah. In this video, inshallah, um, we will study Surah, Surah Al-Mulk. Inshallah, I will uh, give suggestions on how we can memorize the Surah. Um, basically, I'm going to uh, show some patterns and um, give suggestions on how we can remember the next ayat. The next ayah, because usually that's um, the case for most people I know at least, and for me, um, trying to remember what's the next ayah, right? So, inshallah, let's begin. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim رَبِّ اشْرَحْ لِي صَدْرِي وَيَسِرْ لِي أَمْرِي وَحْلُلْ عُقُدَةً مِّن لِسَانِي يَقْهُ قَوْلِي رَبَّنَا زِدْنَا عِلْمًا I just want to uh, make it clear that this is not a tafsir video. Um, the goal of this video is to, inshallah, give suggestions on how to memorize and how to remember the next ayat. How to get clues from the ayat that you're reading or you're reciting to know what's the next one. And so, okay. Uh, first of all, I want to point out some patterns. We'll do just this page for this video, inshallah. So for this page, I will show some patterns. Um, it's important to look at patterns from uh, whatever you're um, trying to memorize. Because sometimes what happens is, um, let's say you're reciting, الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ And then you listen to yourself, الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ didn't I just recite you'll be like that so you're going to doubt yourself so you have to know uh, which ones um, the ones that are repeating or the ones that are the same the ones that sound the same so that's what we're going to try to do here so the first ayat of oh, the second ayat and then the third one is also actually there's a lot of uh, repetitions here twice twice so, الَّذِي خَلَقَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ And then here, uh, I know this one is فَرْجِعِي فَرْجِعِ الْبَصَرَ So, we just remove this فَ and then إِرْجِعِي And then this one, uh, ثُمَّ رْجِعِي إِرْجِعِي الْبَصَرَ Right? And then, here, um, نَذِير 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 Here. And then, أصحاب السعير. I know this is also سعير, but I'm talking about like exactly the same. أصحاب السعير. Because here is عذاب السعير. This one is أصحاب السعير. And then this one أصحاب السعير. Just remove that. أصحاب السعير. And um, that's it. And I also want to point out the endings of all of these ayat. Because uh, it will be... Um, important uh, for our next video for the one uh, for the next page so they all uh, end in raw raw see raw all the way raw okay and now let's go do some basic meaning just basic meaning very simplistic meaning like this again as i said this is not a tafsir video um maybe some will explain a little bit more um, just like this one, because usually, uh, if you don't know this uh, website, I will share it with you. This is really nice because you can learn some info about the surah here, see? And translation with recitation, even tafsir if you like, you know. And then when you tap on the words, uh, when you um, click on the words, they actually read for you. Uh, let's see, here. See? Um, so if that's something you like, I will um, share the, the link in the description box, inshallah. Okay. So, Tabarak. A'udhu billahi min shaytani rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Tabarak. Blessed is Alladhi hi biyadihi in whose hand al mulk, the dominion, wa huwa, and he ala over kulli. Every shayin thing qadir, all powerful. Tabaraka, 
you know, this is usually the translation, Tabaraka is blessed. But um, I don't know how many of you know or understand what blessed means. This is not something that we usually use um, in the English language. I mean, everyday English. Um, so I pulled up the definition of Tabaraka in this here, the Arabic um, dictionary. Tabaraka, Tabaraka, Tabaraka Allah means again blessed but um, far removed or he is f free from every impurity so pure and perfect highly exalted see magnified as god so and there, there's also another one here um tabaraka abundant in good so that's what tabaraka means abundant good perfect so everything that's a lot of good things. Tabarakalladi. When his hands is mulk, mulk, dominion. But again, dominion, we don't, I don't know if you know what dominion means. Like kingdom, basically. Wahua and he upon all things. Uh, qadir. Qadir, usually it's translated as all-powerful. But it doesn't really mm, give the full meaning if you just say, oh, pow powerful, how powerful, like might powerful. Um, no, here. Um, this is another website that's nice. If you're interested in learning more about um, what they mean or also the root letters of every Arabic um, word. So, Qadir comes from Qaf, Dara, root letters. And, um, it's these are the meanings to restrict control and to have power so it's not just like power power you can also control or restrict the reason why i'm giving that is because if you just think all oh, power powerful how but if now that you know it's also about control and restricting this will give us a clue of what's the next ayah the next ayah says something about mouth death and haya yeah uh, so someone who's powerful can give life and death so powerful and control in so giving um, and also in restricting so this will give us a clue so alladhi remember i said there are two ayatas have the same alladhi khalaqa alladhi khalaqa now you know which one is first al mauta first because of the word uh, qadir here Okay, and also, if that's um, something that you might forget or you can't um, connect, um, here, الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ Mim, and this is خَلَقَ السَّبْعَ Mim comes before seen, or if you don't know Arabic alphabet, M be comes before S, right? <laughs> so, that can also give you a clue. So, الَّذِي, the one who... Khalaqa, he created al maut the death, wa al hayat and the life liyabaluakum so that he might test you. Ayukum, which of you, ahsanu amala, as best indeed, indeed. Wa huwa and he al azizul ghafur, is almighty and ghafur, all forgive, all forgiving. Uh, so, um, Allah created us and then he t he's testing us with our life and to know which one of wh which ones of us will do good deeds and w if you've been um, um, learning Quran for a while you will notice that usually a lot of um, ayat in the Quran end with two words uh, two names of Allah like this one Aziz or Ghafur and it usually ha it, it has something to do with what the ayah is talking about. So here, the way we can connect this is Allah is testing us, right? And you can, if you just think about your life, like even just today, how many times did you fail in Allah's test? Like how many times did you sin? How many times did you disobey your parents? How many times did you miss your salah? Or how many times... Probably a lot of things happen today that where you fail to test, right? Allah is Al Aziz. He 
could have punished you, but he didn't because he's al ghafur alhamdulillah. So this is how we can remember this. And then the next ayah, so like what I said, there are two of them. الذي خلق the next one الذي خلق سبع سماوات طباقا so الذي the one who he created seven heavens طباقا one above another so like layered ما ترى not you see في خلق الرحمن in the creation of the most gracious or the most uh, the merciful من تفاوت any faults فرجعي so you return so it says here, so return the vision. So it's just saying, take a look again. Do you see any flaw? So Allah is challenging us. Well, primarily the uh, the primarily the audience, the first uh, main audience of this um, surah. Well, uh, this is um, Maki surah. So. It's mostly it was mostly the the Quraysh, so not the those who didn't believe in um, Prophet Muhammad So it's like challenging them, right? Challenging them to look at the sky and to look if there are any flaws. Basically, the uh, wa is trying to humble them, and we will see um, with the next ayah. We'll we can connect that some more. So, but here, so, خلق سبع سماوات طباقا And then, ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت فرجي البصر حال ترى من فطور And then, like what I said, this one, ارجعي or this, ارجعي البصر Here again, ثم ارجعي البصر Okay, so Allah will say, go look again كرتيني كرتيني It says twice again so it's like in English, you'll say again and again, and that means not just once, right? You can keep looking again and again. The person is not going to say again, 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 again. You say karrataini uh, again and again. So thumarjil basara. So you can look again. Yang qalib ilayk al basar khasi wa huwa hasir. When you look at the translation, it looks like what is this talking about? It will return to you the vision humbled wahua while it fatigued. So um, if the um, translation or well, the meaning of this, there's a lot of uh, translation if you look at different tafsir. But also one of them it says, you keep, even if you keep looking, you'll be humbled because you will not find any faults and you'll get tired of looking. Okay, and then the other one was the one I was um, talking about. Allah was trying to humble them because they were so arrogant. They didn't believe in Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu They didn't believe in um, Allah as being one. Um, so think about it this way. Let's say you were at the store. And um, in the store, there was someone there that looked like didn't belong there. So you were belittling, uh, belittling this person because it looked like, looked dirty, didn't look like, look like homeless person. Why, what is this person doing here? And you were kind of being rude to that person, you know. And then, so you were looking around. This is like your favorite store. And then you look around. And then the employee comes over and then says, excuse me, boss that person that you were looking at that you thought that didn't belong there happens to be the boss for some reason he looked like that but happens to be the boss now how do you feel you feel embarrassed you feel humbled and it says here fatigue but um another um, um explanation for that hasara is something about regret so you kind of regret and about what, what you did, right? The belittling that person. So Allah is trying to humble um, the people of um, Mecca at that time. And well, for, for us too. So another way you can think about it is why would Allah say this? Um, you, with your mom, let's say, your mom 
carried you for several months. And after that, she had so many sleepless nights, years of sleepless nights. And、um, she taught you how to eat, to walk, to talk, to everything that you're doing right now started with her. Subhanallah. And then now that you grew up, she just asks you to、um, can you please、uh, make your bed? And you do it very grumpily. And then you come back, okay, ready, I did it. Does it make sense to act like that towards your mom? It doesn't, right? So you should, it's like, so Allah is kind of showing them this is not, this is not, he's trying to put them in their place, basically. Don't be arrogant.、Um, you have to understand who you're talking to. This is、uh, Allah is the barakaladi biadihil mulk. So it doesn't make sense to be arrogant. So that's why this is here. At least that's one of the, from the one of the lectures that I listened to. Okay. And then next one. So this is connected to it, right? Like, look again, look again. Samawat is heavens.、Um, this is the plural for asama. See? Samawat, asama. So since we already did this, farj,、um, farj il basara, and then thumarj il basara. So after this, sama, sama will go to this one. In this one, وَلَقَدَ زَيَّنَّ السَّمَاءَ الدُّنْيَا بِمَصَابِيهَا So, and certainly, we have beautified the heaven, الدُّنْيَا, the nearest, بِمَصَابِيهَا with lamps, وَجَعَلْنَاهَا and we have made them رُجُومًا、uh, missiles لِلشَّيَاطِينَ for the devils. وَأَعْتَدَنَا and we have prepared لَهُمْ for them عَذَابَ punishment سَعِيرَ السَّعِيرَ the blaze.、Um, so, oh, I I can show a picture just to remember this. So this is the one that let's say this is the when the first one السَّمَاء السَّمَاء what look at the heavens when you look at the heavens and also.、Um, خلق ال خلق الرحمن so just not just the heavens but also creation of Allah it's like do you see any flaws do you see any imperfections no right it's perfect subhanallah、um, so if you want some、uh, picture to imagine when you're、um, trying to remember that、um, this picture might remind you what the ayah is talking about and then The next ayah, the one with the only asama ad dunya, this, because it was talking about rujuma li shayatin. So masabiha, it says they're lamps, but it's talking about the stars, right? Because these are like lamps for us at night, night sky. And、uh, Allah subhanahu, if you just think about it, walakad zayyan al sama ad dunya, al sama ad dunya, the nearest heaven, the nearest. Sky, the one that you're seeing right now, whatever we can see with our telescope, is just the nearest one. Subhanallah,、like、how big the sky is, the heavens are, you know. So, and then I just also chose this picture because of this, because it says missile. Um, there's a long story, backstory with that. Um, Rujum al Shayatin. So, if you want, you can just read about it, and there are lots of tafsir about that or lectures about that. But that's the reason why I put that there, so you remember. Rujum al Shayatin. Rujum al Shayatin. Okay. So, who are Tadana? We have prepared for them punishment as Sarir. Uh, so the punishment, punishment of the blaze, the blaze, and so who is this for? This for? So we're trying to connect it, right? So who is this punishment for? Walilladina kafaru, those who disbelieve. So shayatin and who else? Walilladina kafaru bi Rabbihim aghabu jahannam. Wabisal masir, wabisal masir, masir destination. Oh, so and for those who they disbelieve with the Rub, with the Lord, is the punishment of hell. 
what big sell must say and it says wretched but it's like how bad it is how bad it is the destination Masir. so their destination is jahannam and what will happen in jahannam again we're trying to connect here the next one what will happen so this is more like a conversation so inshallah it's um, easier to remember what's next what's next so the first one iza when ulqu they are thrown fiha therein or in it sami'u they will hear laha from it shahiqo it says they're inhaling but there are other um, translations like well basically noise is this is jahannam right so you'll hear noise of people in, being punished um, inhaling wahua while it tafur uh, it says here boils up jahannam right um, so this one boils up can connect us to the next ayah because the next ayah it says it almost burst from rage you know the expression that um, some people say um, you look like you're boiling up You because you're so angry, you know. Uh, you look so red because you're angry, something like that. So this can connect us. Um, we can connect this ayah to this through that expression. It's boiling up and rage. Boiling up because it's so angry. Because that's what it is. Um, um, in, um, f- if you um, read more about the Jahannam, it's actually a creation of Allah that is actually alive. So it's in rage. So it's like ready to pounce, ready, waiting for um, inhabitants to come in, you know. So takadu tamayyazu min al So it almost burst from rage. What will happen in there? Kullama, every time ulqiya is thrown, fiha therein or in it fawjun a group sa'alahum um he will ask or so who's gonna ask khazanatuha it's keepers like it's gardens alam did not ya'tikum it come to you nazir so when they come in and they're thrown in it a group of them uh, the gardens will ask them didn't a warner come to you see so it's a conversation. The next one, qalu, they will say, bala, yes, indeed, qad. Ja'ana, came to us, nazirun, a warner, fakadhabana, but we denied, we denied. Waqulna, and we said, ma nazzalallahu, he's not, he didn't send down, min shay'in, anything. In antum, not you are, illa, ex- except, fi, in, <clears throat> dala, dalal, er, kabir. Great. Okay. So, them, because they're in dalal, in kabir, um, er, big, great, error. who, those who ended up there, because they didn't listen, right? Again, conversation, what will happen next? So here they were asked, then uh, here they were asked, uh, did a warner come to you? And they will say, yes, yes, it come to us. And then what happens when you do something wrong? If you're a normal human being, you're going to regret, what did I do wrong? Why did I do that? I should have done this, right? That's how people usually react. And that's what they're going to do too. So the next one is, وَقَالُوا And they will say, Lao if kunna we had nasmau listened au or naqilu reasoned ma not kunna uh, we would have been fi among ashab companions asair. See they will regret being there. And it says here listened in naqil. It doesn't say um see if we only saw because they already did. Remember, Allah is pointing, a little, uh, kind of pointing to us and letting us know just looking at the creations around you is actually a sign of that there's a Rabb, there's a, there's a, a creator, right? 
So it doesn't say that here. It says, Nasma'u uh, listened, listened and um, reasoned, like thought about it. Like they, they used their uh, brains, basically. They used their intellect. And then now that they... Um, they are regretting being there if they're if only we did this if only we did that only with it we did that now they're gonna realize so this is the reason why we're here is because what we did so now they're gonna say uh him so they will confess and in other translation they will recognize um him with their sin so away with uh, the way um, you could um, uh, imagine this like say you know there's like there's a king and then that there's someone who disobeyed the king and then um, he will tell his guards take that person away so it is like that it's like get away um, for the the uh, as the companions of the blaze, and then so this is our last line for this um, page. Usually, if you've been um, studying Quran for a while, you will notice that usually when Allah is talking about punishment and nar and jahannam, the opposite will be given. So here we have one line here about the opposite about. Um, people who are who did good so here or who are doing good inna indeed alladheena those who yakhshawna they fear rabbuhum rabbahum their rabb bil ghaybi with the unseen lahum for them maghfiratun um, forgiveness wa and a reward wa ajarun kabir kabir so those who fear uh, their uh, their rabb with unseen um there are different interpretations for this like because we don't see allah right so and also there is one interpretation that this being because this is in mecca right um maki surah there because the opposition the Quraysh, they were being more harsh and um a lot uh, there are people who became muslims but they were afraid to say that they were Muslims because they were afraid that they were going to be harmed. So they were being Muslims secretly, kind of. So that's one interpretation too. That's why it says, um, um, but um, yeah, you can read out more about this if you want, inshallah. There are lots of um, um, tafsir videos uh, or lectures like um, or tafsir books, inshallah. Because um, remember, this is uh, Al-Mulk is actually one of the surah that uh, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, used to recite every night, subhanAllah. So we should really know what this uh, surah means, I mean, every surah that we recite, but especially this one, because this is something that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, recited regularly, you know. So inshallah, now we'll... Um, go to reciting let's see if we'll remember and we'll try it out okay so now we'll try it out um, um this uh, website or it says here app is really nice for practicing in case you are not aware of this um so when you click this see the ayah appears and if you just want a clue you can just click the first one or whatever word you want and it disappears so it's nice for um, practicing. Okay, so let's start. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim So the first ayah, remember that word here, tabaraka. تبارك الذي بيده الملك وهو على كل شيء قدير. And remember a um, clue, قدير, someone, all it says all powerful, but someone who restricts or controls or can restrict like 
give death or give life, right? And remember, there are two, the next two ayat, they start the same, right? But the first one is the one with the death and life. الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا وهو العزيز الغفور. Remember Aziz al Ghafur because testing and maybe you failed but Alhamdulillah oh, uh, didn't punish you right away. He is uh, merciful. Uh, I mean, he is um, forgiving, right? Okay, so the next one, the same start, right? And you remember the picture with the beautiful picture? Okay, so. Alladhi khalaqa sab'a sama, sab'a sama watin tibaqa Ma tara fi khalqi rrahmani min tafawt and then, what will happen? Remember, Allah was challenging them, or us, actually. Look again. So, and then this is samawat. Remember, plural. And what is a singular? A sama. So remember the other picture, the one that's dark, the night sky. So this وَلَقَدْ زَيَّنَّ السَّمَاءَ الدُّنْيَا بِمَصَابِيحَ وَجَعَلْنَاهَا رُجُومًا لِلشَّيَاطِينَ وَأَعْتَدَنَا لَهُمْ عَذَابَ السَّعِيرِ And then this عَذَابَ السَّعِيرِ Remember for whom? And it's, what's the other name here? It's here. Ah, oh, here. وَلِلَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِرَبِّهِمْ عَذَابُ جَهَنَّمَ وَبِئْسَ الْمَصِيرِ And then what's going to happen in this place? Remember, there was a conversation. Uh, well, they're going to be thrown first, right? إِذَا أُلْقُوا فِيهَا سَمِعُوا لَهَا شَهِيقًا وَهِيَ تَفُورُ تَفُورُ It's boiling up. Oh, okay. It's boiling up like with rage, anger. غيظ Okay. تَكَادُ تَمَيَّزُ مِنَ الْغَيْظ مِنَ الْغَيْظ كُلَّمَا أُلْقِيَ فِيهَا فَوْجٌ سَأَلَهُمْ خَزَنَتُهَا سَأَلَهُمْ خَزَنَتُهَا أَلَمْ يَأْتِكُمْ نَذِيرٌ And then what's next? So they're being asked, was there a warner that came to you? What will they say? قَالُوا بَلَا قَدْ جَاءَنَا نَذِيرٌ فَكَذَّبَنَا وَقُلْنَا فَكَذَّبَنَا وَقُلْنَا مَا نَزَّلَ اللَّهُ مِنْ شَيْءٍ إِنْ أَنْتُمْ إِلَّا فِي ضَلَالٍ كَبِيرٌ So now that they're saying that... Um, what they did, so when you know that you did something wrong, what do you know? What happens? You feel bad. You regret, right? So here they regret. وَقَالُوا لَوْ كُنَّا نَسْمَعُ أَوْ نَعْقِلُ مَا كُنَّا فِي أَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ And then now they realize why they're there. So they're going to recognize why they're there, right? 
فَاعْتَرَفُوا فَاعْتَرَفُوا بِذَنبِهِمْ فَسُحْقًا لِأَسْلِ أَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ And then remember what I said, usually in the Quran, if it's talking about um, Jahannam or Naar and punishment, there's usually the opposite. So this is the opposite. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَخْشَوْنَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَيْبِ لَهُمْ مَغْفِرَةٌ وَأَجَرٌ كَبِيرٌ There you go. Inshallah, you were able to do that. Inshallah, this helped. And um, inshallah, we'll be able to memorize this and recite this every night. Just like Prophet Muhammad Wasallam said. And reflect on it. You know, just reciting. Well, we need to uh, reflect on it. We need to understand and make a lot of dua and uh, try to do our best. So when Allah is testing us, right? So we don't end up here, subhanAllah. Um, may Allah grant us Jannah and uh, let us avoid um, Jahannam, inshallah. Amin, amin. Okay, so this is the first part, inshallah. I'll see you in the next video after you're done with this. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullahu khairan for watching.